So what is AWS? Well, it's an acronym and it stands for Amazon Web Services. Amazon Web Services own or maintain the network connected hardware, while you and I provision what we need to run it via web application. Cloud computing, the cloud, provides a simple way to access servers, storage, and here's the keyword for you and I, databases, and a broad range of other applications that Amazon provides. Amazon Web Services, or AWS, owns or maintains the network connected hardware required for these applications and services. The services are broken down into components that you can mix and match based on your needs. If you only need a database component, then that's all you use. AWS services are hosted in multiple locations worldwide. Each region is a separate geographic location. Locations are composed of regions and inside each region are data centers or availability zones. That's what Amazon calls data centers, availability zones. When you hear the word availability zone, just think data center. It'll make things a lot easier down the road. Each region is completely independent. Each availability zone is isolated, but the availability zones in a region are connected through low latency links. In our example, we have the US region located in Virginia. The code is US to East 1. When you view your resources, you'll only see the resources tied to the region that you've specified. This is because regions are isolated from each other. They don't replicate resources across other regions automatically. All these availability zones, get used to using that word instead of data center. As DBAs, we'll set up availability zones that are similar to a vanilla SQL Server cluster. We'll talk more about that later. Just keep in mind that there are regions, and inside those regions are availability zones, which really are data centers. Music